What's up, everybody? About to have myself a whole bunch of fun. Look at all these packs. Standing ovation here with another break. I got 24 packs, random packs of Upper Deck Hockey. Different years, different boxes, Series 1s, Series 2s, Extended Series, Hobby Packs, Retail Packs. It's a whole mix. It's a, it's a mix and match. It's a whole bunch of different stuff. And, yeah, I'm going to just see what I can't find. Now, what all started with this was the 6, 7 packs that I found at a at a store not too long ago and then I found some 8, 9 and 7, 8 and I thought you know what I got some other loose packs lying around let's make an upper deck pack rip okay yeah so I haven't done this in well I did this a couple of weeks ago but I haven't done one that's exclusively upper deck packs not that uh, I'm discriminating against Opeachy or SB Authentic or any of the other upper deck brands but I just thought this would be fun I mean, some years are better than others, but it's all about the young guns, right? You might, There's hobby packs in here, so there might be the odd surprising hit, which is always a bonus. Let's just stack them all up there and start ripping. Yeah, thanks for jumping in here. Thanks. If you like what you see here, please tap the like button. It helps me grow the channel, and that's about all I, I can do is keep growing, right? And uh, if you see anything you really, really like, you can always email me, questions at standingovation.com, because eventually I put it up on eBay, and if you want to get it before it gets to eBay, that's the best way to do it is get me get me like that. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, watch me break all the other videos. And, uh, yeah, okay, okay, let's go. Let's rip. I'm, I'm done plugging. I'm so anxious. I haven't ripped packs. Oh, at least a day now. Actually, it's been a couple of days since I last ripped something open. So, this ought to be fun. Let's start right off the top of 2223 Upper Deck Series 2, the most recent product. I don't know when Extended comes out. Maybe in June sometimes. Anyway, let's go. There's Bowen Byron Base Card, Pierre Luc Dubois, Austin Watson, Robert Thomas, Superstar, Honor Roll, Rookie, Bowen Power, Taylor Radish. You know, that guy's going to have a bit of fun next year maybe Dylan Cousins and Nick Letty yeah if Bedard goes there Taylor Radish Lucas Reichel I don't know maybe they'll all of a sudden be the most sought after rookie cards next to that other guy okay pack number two series two 21 20 or 22 23 what am I talking about Gergi Gergensen Caleb Jones K. Andre Miller we got a world junior grads Quinn Hughes. It's the uh, newer, well, re, re brought back from 1415, I think. Or, or uh, 0405? I don't know. I don't remember. They're all blended in there. It's a old upper deck insert set. Brady to Chuck Mark Trafley, David Devin Taves, and Austin Matthews. Okay, 2122 Series 1. It's all about the Cole Caulfield. Maybe a little Zegris action. He could, he could surprise me. But hey, whatever. Any Young Guns is a good one. Because I'm only doing two packs of each. There's no guarantee. It's like a 50-50 shot, basically. J.G. Peugeot. Morgan Riley. Checklist. Devin Taves. There's a French variant of J.G. Peugeot. English? Need French. Oh. Bonjour. Hello. Okay, that's it. Nick Schmaltz. John Carlson. David Braun. Let's pile up this base like you don't care about it. And you know what? I don't. I really don't care. I used to build base sets, but then it got to be like knitting. You know, you just sat there building base sets and, you know, like knitting a sweater and then nobody wears the sweater. Well, you build a base set and nobody wants it. So it's like knitting. My mom used to be knitting. She was a knitter. Does anybody knit anymore? It's one of those things. Rasmus Ristolainen. Alexander Radulov, Jared McCann, Clayton Keller, Young Guns. Oh, there you go. That didn't take long at all. Hello, my friend. Trevor Zegas. Z Trevor Zegas? I just made up a new player. It's uh, the, the half cousin of Trevor Zegras. It's Trevor Zegas. That is Trevor Zegras, Young Guns Canvas. Right on. Nice pull. Good for me. March 20th. Another guy born on March 20th. We have the same birth date. Me and Bobby Orr and Trevor Zegras and Charlie Simmer all have the birth date March 20th. Although I was born sometime before 2001. I'm not going to say, but it was way back in the 1900s. Bolquist, Theodore Elvis, has left the building. That's awesome. I'm happy. 
This went well. And I'm only four packs in. Good God almighty. Sometimes winning is in the hockey card packs. If you put skates on me, and that's not going to be a winning thing. I'll be falling down and losing quickly. Brian Elliott. Cal Clutterbuck. Seth Jones. Okay, we got a Mark andre Fleury up. Beauty Canvas. He's upside down, but I fixed it. Who's there with... Uh, how come he's got goalie-to-goalie -goalie action? What's it? They're going to have a fight? I haven't seen this card before. It's a cool one. And now is that... Who is it? Is that... The gambler, uh, the, the crazy guy, or is it the Aiden Hill, or is it uh, who is that goalie? Can you tell by his mask? I can't because I'm not a much of a Golden Knights fan, and I'm I'm totally forgetting about the guy that was injured all year. To get the gambling guy, the guy that went bankrupt. Why can't I think of his name? Oh my God, I got Alzheimer's. I think I shouldn't joke. Maybe I do. Okay, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting hockey players' names now. That's not a good sign. I smell burnt toast too. Okay. Robert Hag, Nate Thompson, Nick Ritchie, Evan Bouchard, Evan Bouchard, oh, I forgot about Brian Elliott, I'm still thinking, who was the goalie, who's the goalie that got injured, holy cow, I just watched a YouTube video on him like a week ago, but it couldn't be Logan Thompson, it's not Aiden Hill, Laurent Brassois, it's not him, the other one, the, the, oh man, somebody type it down below, help me, help me, 21-22 extended second pack. Forgot to announce the first pack. Not that it needed an announcement. Vasilevsky, all-star game card. Smash that one down over there. I don't know what I was doing there. Formanton. Whoops. Okay, let's just damage all the cards. Jasperi Kotkaniemi. Mason Marchman. Sam Carrick and Dadanoff. What's behind here? It's sticking. Kale McCarr. There's an all-star Kale McCarr. That cheeky smile, like he's going to win a trophy or something. Oh, yeah, he did. And it's a SPX retro of Niels Lundqvist. It's a very pretty card, but a player I really don't know much about. Like, he went to, he got traded. If they get traded to Arizona, I think I never hear of him again. I don't know. No, it's Dallas, I think he got traded to. I don't know. Whatever happened to Niels Lundqvist? Goes into the Lund Lundqvist pile. There's a few hockey players that have been around that had that name or something very similar to it. Okay, series, extended series of 2021. This could be all about a Bunting rookie or a Hepanyemi rookie, maybe. Kaliev. Like, really, who cares about Kaliev anymore? I don't even think he's on the roster. Brody, Jones, Tyson Berry. There's a retro ultimate victory. Victor Soderstrom, ultimate victory. <clears throat> that was a standalone set in 2000. Yeah, around around then. Nico Heischer, Andreas, I'm glad to see you. Nolan Patrick and Anthony. I'll have a declare, please, with my donut. Second pack of 2021 extended. Let's see, let's see, like a retro rookie of Cappy or Stutzla. One of those two guys would be cool. Jonathan Huberlou. Oh, we got a pink, got a pinko coming up. Cody Cece. He's bounced around. Like, how many teams has he played on? Ryan Zingle. Teddy Bluger. 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 Travis Kornekny. Thomas. Oh, Troy Stetcher. It's got a base of Juso Velamaki and Nicholas Backstrom. Pink hobby only hit. Pink Dazzler. 147. Anybody going for the pink Dazzlers? Hit me up, man. No, I don't know if anybody builds Dazzler sets like with any great passion. So that, therefore, I'm just going to pile all these inserts up like that. Although the 22, 23 ones I'm working on, so I'll put them aside. They may come in handy. Yeah, we can go there. Okay, let's carry on. 1920. These are retails. Series 1. Looking for any of the... Anybody with the last name Hughes and or Adam Fox or Macar Canvas or Nolan Patrick with a funny hat. No, I really don't want that card, but I got it now anyway. Philip Grubauer. And standing tall, there's Gary Hart. Young Guns. Lean Bergman. Lean Bergman. He's not too fat. He's very lean. 
Sidney Crosby, Alex Petrangelo, Andal, and Calvert. Not Calvert. I used to know somebody with the last name Calvert. Does that make me special? Yeah, okay. I don't know him anymore, though. That's what happens. You get older and you, you, you lose all your friends. And all you move away and you lose touch and life goes on. Tori Krug. Scott Clifford. Shea Weber. Matt Roy, Young Guns. Well, he's, he's still got some game. He's not a bad guy to hit. Southfield, Michigan. Matt Roy. Two for two on the Young Guns. That was pretty good. Eli Kovachuk, Nick Letty, Bjorkstrand, and Atkinson. Yeah, like, wow. I mean, two packs, two Young Guns, and those are retail, just like these. Retail Series 1. Hopefully get a Young Guns of... Let's just keep the streak alive. Little Tage, little Thompson, little Tage Thompson. Actually, he's not very little. He's large. He comes, he's economy-sized. Dion Phaneuf. Zach Brees, John Gabriel Pajot, Jean G. Pajot, the man of the break. Got the French versions and two English versions now. Josh Morrissey. I like those old Jets jerseys. There's Adam Larson. He's asking for something. He's like, give it back, man. They stole his they stole his helmet and he's asking for it back. Give it back, man. Oh. I don't know. It's like I guess he just threw a puck up and you can't see the puck. There's a puck right about here right now, and it's about here. Second pack, Series 1, Retail. Seventeen, eighteen. Austin Matthews on the cover. David Backus. Jonathan Taves. Young Guns. Speshnikov. Where is he now? Las Vegas? Los Angeles? Los Alamos? Don't know, but he's not in Detroit. And I'll just put him there. Bexa, Matt Molson. Yeah, I think he's in Vegas. Or maybe it's Los Angeles. I don't know. I don't know what I think. Two packs of Hobby Series 2. Martin Neches. 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 That's who I'm hoping to see. But who knows? I've totally forgot the checklist. This wasn't a great checklist when it first came out. And that didn't mean it got a whole lot better. But time's gone on. And some of the guys have aged. Some of them have aged out. But it's not as junky of a set now as it was a couple of years ago, if it was ever junky. Alice Hemsky and Christian Follin. Matt Cullen. Bobby Ryan. There's uh, portraits of Christian Fisher. These are rookie portraits. Although they put the rookie card down there for whatever reason. Let's put that there. Bobby Ryan. Oshi. Verbata. Redding Verbata. And Jake Gardner. Remember Jake Gardner? He had like one good game once at one point. Uh, he had a, like a, a one good season for the Leafs, and everybody thought he'd come around, and he never did. And they shipped him off. Sent him to Carolina, and I don't know where he is now. The end. Now they got Jake McCabe. Much better Jake. You always got to have a Jake on the blue line if you're the Maple Leafs, apparently. We got Gostas Bear. The Ghost Bear. I'm afraid of ghosts and bears, but I'm not afraid of him. All right, smarten up. JVR. I think his best years were with the Leafs, but I don't know. I haven't watched much of the Philly in the past few years. Got a Young Guns coming up. Good thing there. Got Sam Gagne. Yannick Hansen. Let's just put it down and pick it up again. Holy cow, he must have a lot of fans there because he's cheering like he's the most important person in the whole rink. Tarasenko. And these guys are laughing at him. No, I don't know what they're doing. Vegas fans. Connor Hellebuck. No longer with the Jets. Well, I say that. I mean, maybe by now. No, he's probably still with the team, but I don't think he'll be back. He can go earn big bucks somewhere else. Probably will. What was the young guns here? We got Gibson there, John Gibson, and the young guns of Mike Vecchioni. Vecchioni? I, yeah, another Flyers. Who? Born in 93, so he's a young buck. Just uh, pushing 30. And he's a young guns from 17, 18. I think he's he's a coach somewhere. Coaching the kids. 
Okay, here we go. This is really going back in time now. Here's a couple more hobby packs before a couple retails, and then we'll end on hobby. I got 0809 Series 1. I did rip some of these on my shorts channel. If you haven't checked out my other shorts, my other videos, check out my shorts and all my other videos. I just ripped one of these, I think, but I'll spoil it. I didn't hit anything. No, no, uh, young guns, high gloss or anything, but you never know. These are hobby. That might happen right here, right now, and you'll be here to see it happen with me. I don't think. Well, let's see if I can get a young guns. I'm not doing so badly there on my odds. Manny Legacy. Ryan Suker, or as my man in uh, Dynasty Central there goes, that guy. I don't know why he doesn't like him, but he doesn't like Ryan Suker. I, I should pay attention more. I think he explained it once, and I forget now. Andre Meseros. Riley Cote. Oh, hey, a game jersey of Mike Green. Forgot when you got game jerseys in Upper Deck way back in the day, like... Well, last year and every year before this year. Nicholas Rids Ridstrom. Rick Rickless Ridstrom. Very good, man. Very good. Nicholas Ridstrom, Martin Havlat, Downtown Dustin Brown, and Pierre Marc Bouchard. PMB, as we all call him. Well, as I just did. Mike Green, game used. He eventually ended up on the, the Red Wings, and then we never saw him again. Go Mike Green, Cote Mezeros, and Manny Legacy, or Manny Legas. Okay, one more pack with a 0809. Let's let's see something. The Young Guns design this year is probably my least favorite of all the years designed Young Young Guns. I don't know they put like a little doily thing on the bottom with the name, and the foily is it's not always centered. And hopefully, I'll get to show you right here with something as a good example. The Cheech. I got Chichu. Jonathan Chichu. Pulled an autograph of him this year. It's kind of cool. That neat new product. Uh, not new, but SP Signature Legends. There's Mike Smith. And there is Scott Gomez from Alaska. Alaska's own Scott Gomez from Anchorage. I have an aunt that lives in Fairbanks. I got to go up and see her one day. Mike Green. Mike Green. Man of the hour. Decoy, my favorite. Like those things are crap because they're not even blank. They you can't use them for anything. Hemsky, John Michael Lyles, and Ben Watt Pulio. Or Ben Ben Watt Pul Ben Wo Ben Watt Pouliot. Ben Watt Pulio. Chris Russell. Okay. Seven eight. Series two. It's either Taves. Or it's Kane. I think it's Taves. It's Kane and, and uh, Theodore and Theodore. Uh, Pre Carey Price and Kane were in Series 1. I think Taves was Series 2. And Theodore might be in Series 2 for that matter too. But Carey Price is the one you want. David Krejci. David Krejci. He got injured in the playoffs, so we didn't see him. Danny Heatley. Sergei Samsonov. I've always wondered, is he related to the Leafs goalie Ilya? Ilya and Sergei? I always wondered that. Upper deck store, another useless decoy. I like Petrangelo, rookie card. Man, he took a beating there in the playoffs in the game last night. He got all mad at the end and went running around slashing everybody. It was kind of crazy. Lubomir Vishnovsky, Max Talbot, and Stephen Reiprecht. Stephen Reiprecht and... Oh, Zubris, Daniel Zubris. Lithuania's Daniel Zubris. There he is. Just have a guy that would buy all his cards off me at the flea market when I sold at a flea market, back when there was flea markets. He bought every Lithuanian card he could get. And there was Zubris and basketball. There was Ilgiskus. And he liked Dick Butkus, too, because apparently he had Lithuanian heritage. Okay, here we go. Second pack, series two, seven, eight. No, it's eight, nine. Oh, what am I talking about? So I was looking for Fabian Brunstrom rookie card there, and I didn't even know it. My word. Everybody's favorite young guns. Right? I don't know. This, I think, was the weakest year of all the years of Upper Deck's young gun set. I'm pretty sure 0809 came out as the weakest set. If You can't really count 0405 because there was no season, and they made a young gun set. But for the actual rookies, my vote is 0809 for the 
weakest year of young guns you put your f vote down below as to what you think it is but i'm pretty sure 0809 out of all the years upper decks made young guns they were the worst 50 guys ever ever okay there's grandpa to chuck i don't know is he grandpa yet but we got brady and matthew running around the league like they own it <clears throat> and oh, oh i got burrow but a little premature surprise here i got brunette I got another Chichu card from Favorite Sons from Moose Factory, Ontario. And who wouldn't like anybody who comes from a place called Moose Factory, Ontario? Guaranteed there's mooses made there. Like, people don't make mooses, you know. They, they can do it all by themselves. You never want to see a moose when you're driving because they're like 14 feet tall. And in your car, you'll just, you're just going to drive right under it, and your, your head is going to be right about in the middle of that body, and you're going to be, well, let's not get too visual, but it wouldn't be pretty. It's bizarre. Let's just say it's not like hitting a deer. You hit a moose, so you might as well hit an elephant. Patrick Marlowe. There'll be moose meat. And Willie Mitchell and Patrice Bergeron. You don't want to be moose meat. Is plural of moose, mooses, or moose? I don't know about that one. 0708 Series 2. This is the one I was thinking it was before that I, I prematurely announced with potential Jonathan Taves rookie cards or Jose Theodore's as well, but that's not important right now. I keep saying Theodore. It's not Theodore. It's um, Halak. Halak is in this, and it, I, I don't know why, but he's with Montreal, and I just I see Halak, and I think Theodore. They must look alike. I don't know what it is. Freddie Modine. Wide man. What the heck is this thing? I forgot about these decoy cards. It was your lucky shot in 2008 to win lucky prizes. UpperDeckKids.com Andrew, Andrew Ladd. Philip Kuba. This is stuck with Lucas Krychak. Krychak! Sounds like a Klingon word. Philip Kuba. So does that. Brett Sopel. Oh, I got a Young Guns. I forgot they were in the back. Look at that. I got a Carey Price rookie card. Of all the random cards to hit. It's a victory card, but, you know, a little bit off-centered. Not would be graded, but if it was centered, you might grade it. At this point, that's a really good hit. A victory rookie off-centered of Carey Price. It's probably worth 5 10 bucks. I don't know. But what's the Young Guns? Is it going to be a Carcillo? Or a... Uh, is it going to be Peter Mueller? I don't know. It's, it's Coyotes. It is. It's Martin Hansel. Okay. He had a fairly good career. 07, 08. Martin Hansel. He played with Red Deer. Yeah, he played for quite a few years. I have to hockey DBM to see how long his career was. But he you know, he got some years in with a couple different teams. Right on. I'm glad I got one Young Guns. Out of the older stock. Here, I got another pack. This is another Series 2. Could I go two for two? Could I? Should I? I should. Okay, Froloff. Froloin. Donald Brashear. He was a tough one. Oh, man. Didn't want to make him mad. Or maybe you did. That was your whole point. Brendan Shanahan. He could chalk the knuckles, too. Owen Nolan. Long career he had. Hall of Famer. Another Zubris card. Where's my guy now? I think, you know what? I just saw the right color of a Young Guns. It was a really good color of a Young Guns. Oh, I, I'm spoiling it because I know there's a Young Guns in here. Let's look at the back card first. Mason Raymond, another guy who had a pretty good career. He was a Maple Leaf for a little while, I think. But i got one more before the Young Guns, but there's a Young Guns at the back of this. Kerry Lettman. Kerry Lettman in. Lettman. Okay, well, this is the right color. It's the right color. I got a skate. Who is it? I got a black helmet. Oh. Womp, 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 womp. Alexander Nikulin. Just for a second, I thought, it's a Blackhawk. I did it. I beat the odds, and I got a Johnny Taze, and no, I didn't. <laughs> the next best thing to get a Jonathan Lataves. Jonathan Lataves? Oh, okay. A Jonathan Taves would be uh, Alexander Nikulin. Not. Well, that's pretty good. Two for two on the young guns of 0708. <laughs> and I, I honestly, I think if I went through my boxes, I'd only have like a handful of 0708 Young Guns, so I probably just doubled my total amount of 0708 Young Guns. Uh, there's an 0607 Series 2 pack. Going for the Malkins. 
directly. I'm going for a direct hit. Malkin and Col uh, no, Kolkatar Series 1. Malkin and Pavelski. Pavelski would be really good right now, too, actually. One of the best American players of all time. Okay, on the back, I just spoiled it. We got Sergei Samsonov. So, there's Sergei's Hab. Victory card. Seabrook. Got Wellwood. Roman Hammerlick. Full stats in the back in 06 07. There's Tyler Arneson and Decoy. Jason Arnott. Cheap Shot Chelios. And Andrew Raycroft. Back when he was with the Leafs. Short time that he was there. I think he came along just long played with them just long enough to get injured. I can't remember. I don't know why my Mike Green and I'm making a mess right there. Okay, well, I've kind of separated some of the better cards. And just a random French, John Gabriel Pajot. He's up there, too. Okay, the second pack. Maybe this is the one that'll provide a Pavelski or Malkin. Or a young gun, of any kind. Sheldon Suri. Mark Eaton. And i got Tim Taylor. Captain of the Lightning. Nikolai Zerdev, Zedrev, Z Zedrev, Zerdev, don't know, it's Mark Bell, it's funny looking at these because I was just opening some 2122 extended and these are the retro designs from that year, Philip Kuba, another Philip Kuba card, got a hometown heroes of Nicholas Lidstrom insert and victory of Luc Bourdon, rest in peace, okay, that's kind of cool, but no big young guns there. I got one shot here. Maybe a couple shots at Kopitar, Kessel. Uh, who's the other guy? There's one other one in here. It's kind of a good name to have. There's a few others in here. But Kopitar, Kessel are the two that I'd like to say. I'd like to see. Okay. Jason Spezza. Again, this is 0607 Series 1 Hobby Pack. Spezza. Brian Burrard. Another decoy. I guess you got decoys back then all the time. Ryan Hallweg. Keith to Chuck again. Another Keith to Chuck. Sammy Kapanen. And it's a base pack. Duh. It's a Pavel Datsuk. It's funny because these say they're supposed to have eight cards per pack, but they have six. And a decoy, seven. But the wrapper says eight cards per pack, man. What's up with that? Hobby. Hobby. Yeah. And they're just. They're holding out on us. I have to write them a letter. It's uh, 2006 pack, so I'm sure they'll honor it, right? Yeah. Okay. Last pack. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate everybody who's joined the channel and subscribed. As I say, as if this is around my 1,000 subscriber, I don't think I'm quite there yet, but if I haven't made it there, be watching for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway video. I'm going to be doing a couple giveaway. I'm going to give away some boxes of hockey cards. So check it out. Okay, here we go. Spezza. Spaz. Brian Burrard again. Because why not have two? Well, there's an insert of Zub. Zubov, the shootout artist. Zach Breeze. Breeze, a second year card. Oops, wrong pile. And Martin Jelinas. And Brendan Morrill. Everybody likes shooting their arms up there. That's a good picture, though, goalie. Right after a goal, it's always good for a cheap pick. Alexander Picard and uh, turn card, kids card, whatever. Okay, well, not the biggest hits, but a couple of nice ones. I was, I was right off the bat. I kind of had a feeling that was going to be my best hit of the break when I pulled that one. The Zegras canvas, quite a nice hit. Carry Price is, you know, it's not the most expensive card, but who doesn't want a Carry Price rookie card? Got the French variant, which again, I'm not sure why I separated it. I'll just bury them now. The inserts from 22-23 were going to go on. I have a little list I'm working on. And the Mike Green. Yeah. So I'll just a quick review of all the other inserts. I don't need to call them out. But yeah. That was kind of fun. The Chichu of Favorite Sons. That's neat. Petrangelo, Fisher, Canvas Flurry was a nice one. The rare, but not super expensive. Just a rare parallel of the pink. Yeah. All in all, pretty good break. I'm definitely going to do this again.
because loose pack brakes are fun. I don't know, I, the whole box can be kind of boring sometimes. And as you're waiting for the new product to come out, I don't want to just keep ripping the same thing open over and over. So, well, what did I do for young guns? All in all, I got six and the canvas, so seven, I guess, technically. So out of a 22 pack rip, 24 pack rips, you usually get a 24 back. I did, I mean, I did, I did what you should do, probably. I got six young guns. Uh, okay, I got Nukulin and Hansel for the 0708 hits. 17, 18 hits, I got Vecchioni and Sveshnikov. And the 19, 2019 20, I got Bergman and Roy. So no big names there. There you go, that was the big hit, the Zebras. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll be back, standing ovation out.